Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, Miss Girl, I'm nervous. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to tap into my rich auntie, and I don't realize I don't know what we're doing. But we are gonna get into that the more we get into this video. So today, Miss Girl, we are doing us a 27 piece. I'm not scared about like how it's gonna turn out because I have a pixie cut. Well, I had a pixie cut, but it's done grown out and it's in like this little ugly phase because I don't have a bob, but it's not a pixie no more. But yeah, y'all, so we're gonna be doing our first 27 piece. Um, I'm scared, but we gonna make it cute regardless. Like, you know who I is. We gonna we gonna make some we gonna make that thing shake. But y'all, if you wanna do this 27 piece with me, then just keep on watching. Come on, girl. It's a rich auntie season all 2020. Three. Period. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I did nothing fancy to my hair, y'all. All I did was slick it back. I y'all know I do not know how to braid. Um listen here. Today was not the day to learn two new tasks. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not doing any leave out for this hairstyle, which is what I'm really excited about. Um, so I washed my hair last night. I couldn't even deep condition it because I didn't have any deep conditioner and I thought I did, but y'all know I feel like I be doing so when I put a little deep conditioner in there. <laughs> be that fry your whole hair, but you put that deep conditioner in there. Oh girl, you 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 know your healthy hair journey. Oh. Don't play with her. But yeah, so I did. I washed it with my meal. Y'all know that's all I use at this point. And then I just put a bunch of leave in last night. This is like 2 a.m. And here it is, 8 a.m. And I just slicked it down with my even edge control. Nothing fancy. Put a little got to be on there. And boom, we look like this. So you want to make sure that your base is flat because this is a shortcut. So, you know, you you can't be lumpy dumpy now, you know. But it looked like this. And I'm going to just mush this. My braid keep coming loose. I guess it's too short to stay in a braid. And I don't really, I don't want to keep putting all them rubber bands in them. But yeah, so I'm just take a little, got to be, catch this right here. Like that and just mush that on in there. You can do a little leave out if you want to, but I don't find it. I, don't, I just don't feel like it's necessary because it's a pixie cut quick wheel. So why would you? need some leave out but you know whatever to each his own to each his own take this video and do what you want this is for at this point this is for entertainment purposes only if it turn out good i'm gonna title it how to do a 27 piece if it turn out bad i'm gonna title it watch me do a 27 piece <laughs> so we look like this Okay, a little crown down. I got <laughs> all right, y'all. So, we're gonna start by securing this cap on our head because she cannot move, and I am not playing. So, we're gonna start by spraying her down with got to be basically the same routine I do for all my quick weaves. But y'all, let me make y'all bust out laughing because okay, maybe I'm just maybe I just didn't grow up as urban as I thought I did you know so I really should have did this in the bathroom but then I would have to move my vanity I'd have to move all the lights but we gonna make this work I feel like this is still gonna work for y'all and I wanted to watch TV while I do this because I don't I don't know what I'm doing and I got an event to be at in like negative three hours so I really need to like set a timer but I can't go come up there looking any type of way y'all but anyway um yeah so let me go ahead and get a color brush and we are going to apply some Robert's Diamond Bond Protective Shield to the whole dome. This is going to give us that extra grip on the head. But y'all, so I did not realize until last night when I bought this, I got two things because I didn't know how I wanted to do it. I have the Altrae, Altrae Velvet Remy. Tara one two three those are the links actually looks like this and I got it in a 1B and then I also got the 246 which is apparently gonna be some longer pieces still from Altrey Velvet um 246 Remy here so let me make y'all laugh I didn't know if y'all knew this or not if you knew to go, go 27 pieces you you probably gonna be stunned too so I 
not this is gonna be like playing with a puzzle right so I goes in the store, you know, and I was like, okay, can I see um what, what the 27 pieces is? I know I done seen these boxes by like um the bob hair. So I'm squirting this on my plate, y'all. I done seen these things by the bob hair. So you know, I'm over there and I, you know, I'm talking to the talking to the lady. She was like, she you she was like, you do hair? And I was like, no, I said I'm gonna try to do this on myself because I got an appointment coming up in a couple weeks and I wanna see, you know, basically what's something, you know, I was just, I'm I'm this is a trial one before another appointment. She was like, Oh, okay, I mean you got the face for it. And I was like, Well, yeah, I had a pixie cut, but you know, my hair done growed out in that aqua stage, and I don't know if I wanna cut it. So, you know, we just talking up and I was like, Okay, so like do it do how how are the pieces in here laid out? And she was like, What do you mean? And I was like, okay, is it the shortest to the longest already in here? Or like, are they just rolled up pieces? She was like, what are you talking about? I was like, how are the 27 pieces in the box? And she just looked at me and I was like, and she was like, she was like, let me show you. Y'all, it is three bundles of hell in these boxes. I thought this was going to be like assembling a puzzle. No, ma'am. It's not 27 pieces. I don't know who named that. Honestly, I should sue because that is false advertisement. And I was ready to literally put 27 pieces in my head. So that's why I was wondering why she was like, oh, you got a little time on your hand. I was like, it's just 27 pieces. It's a quick weave. I mean, how much time could I possibly need? You know what I'm saying? So, just don't be alarmed because I was alarmed. I, I really thought it was going to be 27 pieces. And that's why I bought two of them. Because I thought it was going to be 27 pieces. And I was like, I got a big old head. How they know 27 pieces is going to be enough hair for everybody's head? Like, how is that guaranteed when some people got a little old head? Some people got a big old head. You know what I'm saying? So, how is this? It's not 27 pieces. I, it, 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 it has nothing to do with 27 pieces. I don't know why it's called a 27 piece. But it's not 27 pieces. Mm -hmm. Long story short, it's not 27 pieces. And I personally feel a way. So we are just applying this diamond bond all over. Making sure everything is nice and smooth. I'm going to make sure my edges are covered. Because this can go on your hair. I got a little bit of edges left out from that cap right there. So I want to just make sure I'm covered and protected. In more ways than you know. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Watch out for my little burn here. So. You kind of got to have a vision. With everything you do. So I know for a fact. I want mine to kind of like be really feathered. And have like you know. Little longer side pieces. And just be super messy and wispy like. But I do kind of want a little tail. But not too much of a tail though. You know what I'm saying. So um. Yeah so hopefully. They, like I said. Y'all gonna know by the time this video come out. If it say watch me. It, it did not come out 100% how I wanted it to come out. Uh, yeah, all right y'all so the cap is fully dry now so we're gonna go ahead and get started i did also grab a pack i've never used this hair here before um i i, I usually use like duvets or something like that when i do like bobs and stuff but this was outright so you know i wanted to keep it all in the hairs family so i did get some this is a eight inch and just because I do feel like I'm going to need just a couple extra long pieces in the front. But, you know, if you got some hair at the house from like an old bob, you can use that. I just did not feel like looking through no hair drawer for no hair. But, yeah, I'm going to like whip some of this in the front. Mm-hmm. Y'all see? All right, so let's go ahead and get these boxes open. So... Yeah, like I said, this is the Outre Velvet Remy Tara hair, um, and it come with the closure in the in the hair kits too. I got two kits. You don't need two kits. Um, both of them in a one B. This has inches one inch, two inch, and three inch. They say twenty seven piece. I don't know why I'm finna show y'all though. Um, and then this one is the two, four, and six, and they got this type of style on it. Um, so I guess the hair can get you this, and then this one can get you this like shorter looking styles um i think this one was like 17 dollars. this one was like 13 dollars um so yeah so come assembled in this little mushroom thing look like a crema tree and take these t-pins out of here and, okay here go the little closure oh, Lord. it ain't lasers 
<laughs> Ooh, yeah, okay. So that's the little closure. That's what that look like. Um, look like a little Christmas tree. Oh my god. Ooh. All right, so this is obviously going to be the six inch piece. So obviously you want to keep like the shorter lengths in the back, but I do want a little bit of a tail back there. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to put this super long piece. I'll probably put like a piece of the three inch maybe. Let's compare them and see. This is a six inch though. So I know this is going to go towards the front to give me that wisp in my bang and everything. All those layers. Must find Charlotte. Girl, this look like one of them buns you used to put in your hair for ROTC. Girl, all you got to do is shoot. Do -do -dum -dum. Boom, bun. Okay. They got it bumped so hard. This that curl your mama told was going to fall by church. And he never fail. Lord have mercy. I might be done bit off more than I can show. Then I, ain't, I had the nerves to not even watch not one tutorial not one not one not one tutorial I seen one girl on TikTok do it and I was like oh I got stabbed at oh my god wait a minute oh my god one two three oh my god it might really be 27 pieces okay so this okay so you got six is it Okay, oh my god. Okay, so they are super thin, so you got to lay them right. Six, I have six pieces of this long one. So do I want to, how, how far that come down? Oh, now that come a little long, that come down there a little long. So we ain't going to do that. Okay, I got to keep this here separated. Okay, so this is six right here. We're going to put this over here with that bob, that, that bob here. All right, so let's look at the four now. Girl, yeah, I'm stressed out. All right, I've come to the realization. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Um, so we are literally just going to wing it. So I've I got all my pieces laid out. The two boxes I have them laid out from the six, four, three, two, two, and one. Um, to try to figure out what we got going on. So I got my flat iron here. It's curled so much. I am going to bump it a little straighter so I can just like see what's going on. The track is so thin. It's not double like you know like regular bundles are like. This is how thin the wefts are, so you kind of have to know what you're doing <laughs> because you have like no room for error. So I'm just going to flat this iron out a little bit with my EP flat iron. Because, I, like I said, I do want a little bit of a tail, but I need to like see which piece because I don't want to like waste hair back there. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay. I think I'm going to do the three. So this is the four. This is how long the four is. It's about the length of your finger. So I think we're going to do a piece of the three as our back piece. Let me see. I just have no clue why it's called 27 pieces. Because there is not 27 pieces in these boxes. It's like five or six tracks of each size. And I don't want to take the curl all the way out. I just want to smooth it down a little bit like so it lay on my it lay down like I'm not giving such a hard bump under look okay so this is what a three looks like bumped out a little bit I don't know y'all I, I don't know I don't have a clue I don't have a clue Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, I'm just going to start with one track from, oh, from here. And I'm just feeling it around my head, basically. Um, I'm going to do it from each ear to each ear for my first two rows. Okay. So, I'm going to do this first one. It's going to be a little bit shorter. So, it's going to go from here to here. And we are just going to cut this. All right, where we fell to that. All right, y'all, so we have our first piece down. I'm going to kind of smooth this in oh, a little bit more. Yeah, 
so it just fall like naturally or whatever. I'm trying not to focus so much on how it looks right now. <laughs> Alright, so this is just the other half of that same track that we cut of the 3 inch. So I'm going to lay this exactly on top of the one that's in our head right now. And personally, I like to use the Salon Pro hair glue with this like reddish tint on it. I don't like that solid gray. I don't I don't know why. I just I just don't. It just seems like the hold on this one is just uh so much better. So much better. So we're just layering this directly on top of this one. You don't want like any spaces in it because like I said, it's it's a shortcut. I don't space my checks out anyway, so that's not really an issue to me. these have to be like laid directly on top of each other because yeah it's short hair so therefore like because you have to get ready to shave it down so when you shave it down you know if they're not right on top of each other you're gonna be able to see through it and you don't want that you do not want that miss girl okay so i am going to now i'm going to go ahead and kind of like start my sides because my ear is just like so close to my nape i just realized that so i'm going to take um some of the four inch track because it's slightly longer and we are going to do this area here because i do want them to be kind of long a sideburn area so i'm gonna take about this much this is a like i said this is a four inch piece a four inch track and i'm going to lay it about right here and it'll come together when we um cut and shape her up so i'm gonna take this and put it on top of here so we have two equivalent sideburn pieces all right so we're gonna take this four inch piece And then literally lay it right on top of these other ones. Okay, it's coming together. It's coming together. Y'all see that? Y'all probably don't see it. But I see it. I see I see it. Like you like once I cut my ear out, you can see like you know what I mean? Like you can see like where the wisp is gonna be in. You 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 got to have a little bit of an imagination to see this because you know. It could go left, it, it, and, and it still very much could go left. You know, I might just be giving myself some false confidence right now. But, it's going to come together. When you get that um, comb out, it ain't got no choice but to come together. It literally got no choice but to work. It got no choice but to work. I'm going to make this shit work, because I took my hair down, so... this has to work all right so now i'm taking a piece of the six inch and i'm gonna come straight across my forehead here lord please 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 Please, I got so much stuff to do. I got so much to do, Lord. I don't have time for this. <sighs> oh, kids, don't act on your impulses. Don't act on the impulses. Please do your research. Please. Okay. We getting somewhere, though. I think I, I think I see it. I think once, once you go to, like, cutting and layering her up, I think it's going to really give. Okay. So.
all right so now i'm gonna take the two inch pieces i'm not even really gonna like i'm not even gonna bump this out I'm, I'm not i'm just going to take it from here to this side and start layering these pieces on All right, y'all. So this is what I look like right now. I look like I'm finna get on up on the good foot, but we. I feel like we getting somewhere. Not really. <laughs> Doing this so long. So, um, right now we have this all back here is twos except for this um longer piece at the bottom. Um, like I said, that was a three. So I have two tracks of three. Those are that really long area back there. And then the rest of this little choppiness is um, pieces of the two inch. Um, and then there is a piece of four right here. So just kind of like brief y'all on where we're at. I have two pieces of the six right here. And then a piece of three right here on the top, right here on the top. Just to kind of like start to kind of shape where you're placing it. So I'm just steady going up. So I'm taking another piece of two now. And I'm coming to right above my ear with this two. So now I'm kind of like mixing in between the twos and the threes. So, because I want that really messy wispiness in my pixie cut. So as before, you know, I was taking it all the way to my ear with the two. Now I'm taking it to about right here. And then I do a piece of three from here to here. And then two in that middle. Well, a, a two inch piece of track in the middle so let me show y'all real quick it's really you really just kind of like gotta see what you want to look like you know um length wise when you're placing it that way when you get ready to go in with your comb or your razor or your shears whatever you're going to use to like you know like really chop it up it just flows now that's i ain't gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous but i know how to like cut hair a little bit i know how to like wisp some stuff out you know like when you're doing bangs or you know like even with a bob because you know when you when you got like a side part bob you got to add just a little bit of wisp to that end on that bob so it's literally the same thing so yeah this is the two inch piece so it comes from so this whole thing right here is my ear right so it comes from the back of my ear which is right here Oh. and you just want to push that track down make sure it is seamlessly on top of the other track and then it just flows all the way over here to this other side to the other top of my ear it's, it's definitely getting somewhat slowly but surely but definitely slowly I will say that. So now we are going to take a three inch piece. We're going to bump her out. I'm bumping the ones that's closer to my face because I want it, you know, straighter. And I'm just cutting a little piece to lay right here above my ear. So literally this much is my ear quarter. And because I kind of want it, I don't want it like symmetrical, symmetrical, but you know, you want it balanced. I just take it, take that piece and stack it on top here and then just cut right here where they match each other. That way I kind of like got something to go off of. I'm trying to just like make it easier for myself when I get ready to cut it because I don't want to accidentally cut too much. I really want the shape to already be there. That way, really, when I go in with the razor, I'm just bouncing out, adding like, you know, some movement, some body to the areas that need it most. So, yeah, we're going to pop this right here directly above the ear right where that tooth stopped. And then take it right over here where it meets like the longerness of like your front like that all right so now that we're getting like closer to like the top where i'm really gonna fringe it out i'm gonna take some of the bone straight hair that i got this is what it looks like i'm gonna, it's still from outre it's called milk it says it's infused with oh nourished with coconut milk conditioner so we're gonna take a piece of this and add it up front here 
So this is a eight inch piece. If they had shorter length, I would have got a shorter length. Um, but you know, you can always throw this head in the hair bin. You know, you never know when you want to add a little track or some volume to your style that you currently got. You know, you already know how that go. So, um, we are going to take this directly here from side to side, from three to three, right here in the front. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put one more piece of this up here. I'll probably put some more too, but you know, I just want to give a good like wispiness of like different shit going on. So from side to side, something like that. Yeah, and I know y'all got some old bob hair at the house from a bob you had ages ago but you ain't never got a chance to use the rest of that hair because you know by the time you get ready to get another bob you just gonna get another pack of hair so just yeah go on in that old hair drawer get you some old bob hair oh hell y'all that's my time i'm supposed to be leaving right now <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go in so you know i got two boxes so i'm gonna start on i just now pulled out the second pack of two inches because I want to bring the twos to up about right here all the way across. Because you have to think about like what area is going to fall where. So yeah, I kind of want like all the hair that's falling straight to be shorter. Um, so yeah, we're going to bust open this other pack of toes, y'all. And... All right, y'all, so this is what we look like. This is all of the twos I think I'm going to do. It's about to right here because I do want to get that gradual effect with the threes now. So I'm taking my first piece of three-inch hair to start. And when I put this on here, y'all are going to see what I mean when I say, like, gradually build. You know, like a sh you know how, like, a short haircut looks. It has all those layers and dimension in it. I want to start doing that with my tracks now because it, it, it makes it less that you're going to have to worry about trying to cut with your razor you know because i don't want to be too scissor happy and i want my guide to already be there so once you're like if you start you know like layering the hair you know like from the shorter pieces to the longer pieces going up you can kind of see like what that three just did if that makes sense like because you're 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 you already got like um layers in in the hair already so when you get ready to go in with your razor it's gonna be a breeze girl a breeze I'm saying it's gonna be a breeze and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting this shit on him. Cause I gotta get the hell up out of this house. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what I'm talking about though. I mean I can look at something and tell, you know, like a foundation on a house or something like that, you know. Alright, I'm gonna take a four from about my ear over to this ear. Oh, this is a perfect piece. Yeah, from ear to ear like this. This is a four inch track. I don't know how I did it, but I kind of made it happen. I really don't know how we got here, but we here. So now we're going to take our closure. <sighs> if that's what they want to call it, it's black. Look like this. Look neck. Um, I use, I'm using the one out the six inch box. I just feel like that makes more sense. And it's kind of thick. So I'm going to take my point comb and kind of just like poke it through there. And I am going to um, take my flat iron and press it out because I need it. To, I want it. I need it to be flat as hell. It's the only way this is gonna work is if it's flat. Uh, I'm gonna try to take some of the spiralness out of it. Cause it's kind of just like throwing me off. Okay. And. Girl, somebody pass me 
this me a Seagram's wine cooler. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna load it up with glue and then pop it right there. Literally, I'm just gonna oop. And I'ma take my brush I used to apply that um diamond bond with and just smooth that puppy out. Make sure it's flat. Um, I'm going to cut some of this extra lace off. I am going to do that because I feel like, like, see like right here where this is doing nothing. I'm going to cut that off because I don't, I don't, I don't need that. Alright y'all, so I did have to switch camera, so I do apologize if it looks a little bit different on my battery died. So this is what I look like right now. I put me some glasses on so I can literally like be able to see because they were sitting on top of my lash extensions and that just wasn't going to work. So I am taking a comb, combing everything in its natural position that it's falling from. I still have not found this damn closure up here, but I want to make sure that that's blended too, but that's okay. So... I don't know how to get started, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, honestly, honestly, I don't, I don't have, I don't have a clue how to, how to do this. Okay, this is all gonna be by luck. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I'm gonna explain it in the best way that I can. That way, hopefully, y'all get lucky too. Okay, so I got these razor combs. Um, so the thin side cuts a lot slower than the thick side um this is gonna take a whole lot off so i'm gonna just start with this little pink one because it's even on both sides and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start like feathering up up him <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know what i'm doing I, I really i really don't know what i'm doing i'm just just chopping some stuff any place I want to take out some bulk add some movement that's where I'm gonna just go choo, 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 choo. I'm gonna go ahead and like I'm going to take the thick side and go ahead and raise it down from my nose a little bit because I know I'm not gonna have it this long because I literally Cannot see. I'm taking small pieces at a time because you can always take more off, but you cannot add it back. All right, so we're going to take this thick side. We're going to just get started in the back. I can't see it. I'm just feeling my way through combing it slightly out I'm not going to take it all the way down my neck now because I do want that tail to still be tailing a little bit so I'm just feeling like where I feel like it's a little thick at and that's where I'm going over until it feels good um, right in here where I have a little bulk, I'm just going to layer it a little bit. And you really just do this to your liking, y'all. Like, it ain't no tutorial. I am going to bring my ear out so I can see. Because I am going to wear earrings and stuff with this.
but I'm gonna take the thin side. I'm just going to do extremely small. Like this is how big the chunks are that I'm taking out because I want to see the length before I just keep removing chunks. So that's like an eighth of an inch every time that I take something off. Cause I don't wanna go too crazy. Come back up here. And take this little pink one. And just form. And just take off random chunks. Literally, just chunk it. Just. Oh, this is so hard. My lashes. Uh, anywhere I feel like it's just too heavy, I'm just. I'm literally y'all just combing it in place and playing with it so I can kind of like see how it looks from different angles and I'm just cutting what I want off like I don't I don't really have a tutorial to tell y'all I'm just kind of like eyeballing it honestly I like the length but the lashes the lashes are killing me Hey y'all, so this is pretty much the final look. I'm giving real aunt, rich auntie realness, you did. You just gotta keep cutting and whispering until you feel cute. And you just keep going with it. Um, Here's a different angle of video. It came together with the makeup. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in.